Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Aisha if you are new here and today I am gonna do my makeup with you guys I wanted to share a very easy kind of like an everyday makeup tutorial But more focused on like work or school appropriate makeup something that is quick that keeps you covered from the Sun of course and that just looks good and like Natural like it doesn't change too much of your features. So that is the type of makeup that we're gonna do today I hope you guys enjoy it I feel like I did a work appropriate makeup tutorial like three or four years ago now when I was still an intern like a marketing intern back in university and That was a lot of steps. I was watching it the other day and I was like girl How did you even have time to do that every single morning? So this is gonna be quick to the point um, but still flawless, of course, because <laughs> do you expect anything less from me? I'm just kidding. Um, but if this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Join the family. I'd love it for you guys to stay. And let's get started. All right, so the goal of this video is to not get foundation, concealer, powder, bronzer anywhere near this hijab. So... Let's see if I succeed. Um, but the first thing I'm gonna do is just put on some more of my lip balm slash slash, slash lip mask. Laneige lip sleeping mask, of course. And then I wanna go in with a very exciting new product from one of my favorite sunscreen slash skincare brands, Super Goop. I have talked about them for a long time on my channel. They've been one of my go-to SPF brands for the past like two years. So I'm very excited that they're actually sponsoring this part of the video. I've wanted to work with them for so long. So thank you, Super Goop. But they just came out with a new sunscreen. This is their Glow Screen SPF 40. And this is actually a primer plus SPF. So you can use this as a primer for your makeup. And that is what I'm gonna be using it for today. So let me show you. I usually always apply SPF um, before I even start my makeup tutorials because it is my last and final step of my skincare routine So I don't really show it a lot of the times in my makeup tutorials, but today I'm definitely showing it So let me apply this guy. This is basically a primer and SPF in one But this is perfect for like an everyday natural makeup look because it leaves a very pearlescent glowy finish on the skin um, But the thing that I like about this is that it's not like glitter it doesn't have any shimmer in it. It just leaves a really beautiful glow and it still protects you from the Sun because it has SPF 40 So that is the glow screen just applied on its own and you can see it didn't leave a white cast But it left such a gorgeous glow um, and it also has hyaluronic acid niacinamide and vitamin b5 So it's gonna hydrate the skin as you're wearing it. This is actually the most exciting part Supergoop is launching in Canada guys. They will be launching in the spring. So for all my Canadians Keep an eye out. Very excited for this and shout out to Supergoop for finally launching in Canada. So if you guys want to check out the glow screen, I will have it linked down below. Uh, it is honestly amazing. Like I really, really love this. I'm going to be using this all throughout the summer, the spring, winter, fall, all of it because I love me some glow. Moving on to foundation. This is the Juvia's Place Stick Foundation. I use the shade Cameroon. I prefer to use stick foundations when I'm in a rush or when I just want my makeup to be applied very, very quickly because you don't have to get any mess or you don't have to get messy. You don't have to get this all over your fingers and it just works perfectly for every day. So I just apply this mainly in the area. Sorry, I keep staring at myself. I'm kind of using my camera as a viewfinder or as a mirror, but um, I basically apply this in areas that I want the most coverage. Um, and that is mainly around my mouth because I have a little bit of darkness, a little bit on the sides of the nose. And I usually just do like one little stripe on my cheeks and not too much on my forehead, maybe like three little dots. So that is all I do for foundation. And then I like to take a brush because it's, because it's super quick and I just apply this. So you don't have to deal with any liquids. It's just like the perfect hack, I feel like, for, you know, someone that is in a pinch. I feel like this would be great for mothers, too, who don't have a lot of time to put on makeup but still want to get glam. Once that is mainly blended all over the face, I like to take my beauty blender and I just kind of like... My bad. I just kind of like stamp it. So you can see there's still such a gorgeous glow that the Super Goop primer left on the skin. Is, ugh, which is exactly what we want for a natural look. So moving on to brows. Like I said, I usually prefer to do brows before foundation, but I literally forgot. So I'm just taking the Glossier Boy Brow. This is my go-to brow product. I have been using this for years now. Well, I think like a year and a half, but still, it's my favorite. And I use the shade brown because I don't really like to have super dark brows, even on 
actually every single day even when i do like super glam looks i don't like the look of dark brows on myself okay continuing um but yeah i use the shade brown and i feel like it just matches my brows perfectly so i basically just brush it up and that is it adds color it adds a little bit more fullness you can see in comparison to the other brow so i just go over my brows a couple times with the boy brow um until i get the fullness that i like this is a step that i don't really do all the time especially when i'm in a rush but if i have any bald spots like as you can see on this brow i have a couple bald spots i will take the glossier brow flick is it called brow flick yeah brow flick um this is also in the shade brow brown and i will just do a couple lines wherever I need it. I'll also sometimes use my Benefit, um, the pencil, the micro pencil. I forget, I don't know why I'm blanking, but for today I'm gonna use this one and I just lightly do some flicks wherever I feel like I need it. This is more like a pen, by the way. So it's almost like ink and it adds very, very hair-like strokes. Next, I just take my brush and I take a little bit of concealer. This one is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Butterscotch. And I use this to carve um, below my brows. And you can kind of see the difference that this makes. It just kind of makes it look so much sharper. I don't know, it's a step that I never miss and... I always get compliments on my brows, so must be doing something right. Last step to my brows, I take a clear brow gel. This is the Benefit 24 hour brow setter and I run this through. I know I just used another brow gel, but um, the glossy one doesn't really hold your brows in place. Like it, it does if you're like, I don't know. It does, but not as good as this basically is what I'm trying to say. So I use both and I'm extra and I know, but you know what, this is what helps me achieve that perfect brow, like heathery, not heathery, feathery look. Okay, moving on to concealer. This is the one that I use as the Born, Way, Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Butterscotch. This is just the mini. Um, I saw that they had the mini at Sephora, so I got it because it's just easier to travel with even though i'm not traveling right now okay don't question me i put on way too much okay i totally got cut off while applying concealer but that's okay because i applied way too much anyways um and i'm trying to get rid of some so i'm just using the butt of the beauty blender and picking up some of the product under my eye and i'm literally just dabbing it into a tissue because i normally just put like two little stripes under my eyes but i got carried away i don't know this is why I can't talk and do my makeup at the same time. Okay, once concealer is applied, I go in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I don't bake with this, I literally just press it under my eyes to make sure that it is set and it won't crease throughout the day. So basically, I just keep dabbing until it is completely blended in like that. I take a little powder and put it on my forehead as well. Just where I put the concealer, a little bit down my nose. Because even though this is a natural, everyday look, I still want it to look snatched. Come on now. I take a little bit of that powder as well and just kind of like dab it on the back of my hand and put it on my smile line area. And this will just prevent creasing around the smile line. This is the powder that I like to use on the rest of my face. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in the shade 3. It's very light and ashy, but it's not really a powder that you use to like add color to the face it's mainly just to set and it has it's just not translucent basically so i basically just apply this in the areas where i didn't use the laura mercier powder just so that when i go in with bronzer it doesn't like skip and apply patchy this powder also has a really nice effect on the skin like it literally makes you look airbrushed it's not like a powdery powder if that makes sense so I'm literally just like patting it into the skin. All right, so the goal of this video is to not get foundation, concealer, powder, bronzer anywhere near this hijab. I already failed at trying to avoid getting makeup on my scarf. <laughs> I'm gonna just have to throw this in the wash. But anyways, bronzer time. This is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. It's the one that I literally use every single day. It's my favorite bronzer. And if there's one thing that you do not skip in this video, you can skip the foundation, you can skip the concealer, do not skip bronzer because I promise you it just livens up your skin. It just looks so good, especially for more natural looks. It just kind of adds warmth to the face. So I'm just using this on a dual fiber brush. Um, it's my preferred choice for bronzers it's the duo fiber stippling brush by luxie 
and this will bring warmth back to the skin especially since i applied way too much concealer <laughs> Oh, by the way, I use the shade Endless Summer in the Physician's Formula bronzer. They also have a darker shade called, um, I think it's just called Sculpting Bronzer or something. So on the same, or with the same bronzer, I use a fluffy crease brush and I just work that on my eyes. This is the best trick for all my working ladies and all my ladies that are in school and just want to look a little bit more alive. Drag bronzer onto your eyelids. You do not need eyeshadow. Literally just use your bronzer. And do you see the difference that that makes? That little shadow just adds so much life to your eyes. I'm also gonna put some on my lower lash line just with a tighter brush. All right, I know I just said you don't need eyeshadow, but this is a tip to make your eyes look a little bit more defined and awake. I like to take just any eyeshadow palette that has a dark brown eyeshadow. This one is by Fenty Beauty. It is the number one true neutrals palette. And I'm just taking this on a angled liner brush. And then basically just use this to create kind of like a winged liner. So it's just a little bit softer. And what that's going to do is it's going to make your eyes look slightly bigger and a little bit more open. And it's also going to make your lashes look much fuller and thicker. And it's much easier to do than liquid liner because if you mess up, all you got to do is smudge it out with your finger. Once that's done, I like to tight line my eyes, but just the top eye. This is the So Fierce Vinyl Eyeliner by Revlon. And I always use a brown, especially for everyday kind of like naturalish looks, just because black will just look way too dark. And I basically just smudge this into the top lash. And it just kind of defines the eyes a little bit more. So that is it for the eyes. I'm gonna go in with some mascara. This is also by Fenty Beauty and it is their full frontal mascara. Mascara is actually my least favorite part of my makeup routine. I just hate applying it. I feel like it takes so long. It gives me like a face ache. It's really strange, but we gotta do it because it really opens up the eyes. So I just remembered that this mascara crumbles on my face so i'm gonna go get another one yeah i really like the effect that it gives on the eyes but it just like crumbles all over the face by the end of the day and that is no bueno because usually if you're going to work or school you're wearing your makeup for a long time so i'm going in with this mascara instead it is the lash blowout by it cosmetics okay all done i don't really put on lower lash mascara for every day um and for like if I was doing this quick, I wouldn't do it. I just don't have time. But what I do is just kind of squeeze my lashes a little bit on my lower lash line and just remove any foundation or concealer that gets on there because then they'll at least look a little bit more defined naturally. Otherwise, they just look white and like crusted with concealer. So I've been liking to use cream blushes lately especially i feel like for work in school it just like adds a nice flush to the cheeks without adding like another layer of powder so this is the live tinted hue stick and it is in the shade found which is now back in stock they were sold out for a while it was like limited edition or something but everyone loved it so much that they brought it back and it is such a gorgeous color so i just take this on my brush and literally just like draw it on there a little bit and then you could apply this straight to your cheeks but i just feel like i don't know i get nervous that it's always gonna pull off my foundation or concealer so i like to apply it this way this is the heavenly Lux blush brush from it cosmetics and i just put this on the cheeks and i like to add a lot of blush because i feel like it just makes you look more natural and awake and like flushed i don't know looks good and i put some on my nose a little bit on my chin and forehead and i drag a little bit under my eyes as well for highlight, I don't like to do too much, so I like to take this Fenty Beauty highlight. I rediscovered this when I was doing a tutorial that you guys will see soon, but this is the Afternoon Snack in Mo Honey, and I actually like to use the more matte side. I'll come up close so you guys can see. I mean, it is a shimmer, but see how this is a little bit more foiled? This is a little bit more like subtle. I like to take the more subtle side and then just kind of put that on the tops of my cheek just for a little bit of glow, kind of re-enhancing the glow from within from that primer. And then I also take a little bit of that same highlight and put that in my inner corner. I, of course, set everything. This is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I don't know if there's anything even left in here. So hopefully it doesn't ruin my makeup, but... 
I could not stand my dirty hijab anymore, so I just quickly changed it. This is, of course, my Vol Chic X Aisha Haroon collab. I don't know if it's sold out yet by the time I'm posting this video, but if it is not, I will have the link down below so y'all can shop my hijabs. The other one that I wore is also from my Vol Chic uh, collection. I feel like it's perfect for the working girl, woman, and also anyone who goes to school because it's just like you just throw it on and it's so easy. And for a lazy girl like me, it's amazing because it's like, anyways. That's not what this video is about. But last but not least, it's just the lip. To be honest, this is the lip color that I always go to. Um, this is Max Derriere. It looks like this. It's like the perfect nude brown for deeper skin tones. And I will show you guys what it looks like. I think this is one of their cream formulas. I can't exactly remember, but it's very, very comfortable. And it's just a perfect everyday color. But I actually wanted to wear this because I prefer to wear glosses um, so that it's just super easy to reapply throughout the day if you're at work or school or whatever it is. So I'm gonna apply this gloss. This is the Perf Gloss by Bare Minerals. It's their Gen Nude collection. This one also is super long wearing and it's very hydrating. I kind of just want to see what this looks like on top. This is just getting very extra, but this is the Sweet Mouth Gloss by Fenty. And I'm gonna apply that to the center of the lip. Mm, didn't really do much, but that is basically it for the rest of the look. I kind of want to go to somewhere with slightly better lighting so you guys can see it in all its glory, but I feel like the primer slash sunscreen that I use um, from Supergoop really just like brought this look to life like my skin looks so glowy and fresh and i love the fact that like it's a primer and sunscreen in one like you don't have to do two steps so i will have it linked down below but i am just going to take you guys off the tripod real quick and let's go to somewhere with better lighting so you can see the full look Ooh, there we go Ooh, there we go actually that didn't really do anything. <laughs> it didn't really work out. I feel like my bedroom lighting is just primed to show you guys the finished look. But yeah, this has been my everyday look for business meetings when I just need a very quick beat. Honestly, this takes me about 10 to 15 minutes if I'm doing this obviously without filming. Um, it's very quick and it is my go-to because it always looks good. So if you are someone who goes to work every day, school, I don't know, you just need a good natural beat, then try this look out. I feel like you guys will enjoy it. And definitely be sure to shop Supergoop's new glow screen down below um, they have it at Sephora and then of course from my Canadian babes they'll be launching in Canada very soon too so you guys will be able to try out the super goop brand finally and I think you guys will really enjoy it especially if you're a woman of color because they got us okay they ain't got us looking purple thankfully so yeah give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it subscribe to my channel down below uh, join the family we are growing so quickly so thank you so much to any of my new followers if you guys are checking out this video um, but yeah I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.